So finally the day is here guys as you can see rpcs3 android build is finally out on github yes guys finally as you can see that in release section we just got to see the alpha build one of rpcs3 android and it is the official uh, build of rpcs3 android and developed by the official developers of rpcs3 emulator so in this video we are going to install this emulator and quickly going to set up it and we're gonna find out if it's better than already present rpcs3 or the graphical issues are getting fixed in mediatek or not so just quickly begin with the video guys so as you can see you can just simply click here and uh, from here you'll find out the apk you can just click on uh, this apk uh, file and uh, it will start downloading itself so that's it guys after download is finished just simply install it i have already installed it now um uh, as you can see that there is no logo that obviously it's alpha build and it's very very early release so let's just quickly install so i have installed let's open it oh, so after opening as you can see the ui will look like this so uh it's a pretty simple ui for now so and the process is pretty simple just like aps3 emulator so the process is pretty simple just like aps3 emulator so just in, uh, you have to first install the farmer then we have to install the pkg so for that just click on this button and here you'll find out uh, the option to choose farmer click here and you can easily choose your farmer from the file manager that's it after you choose it just uh, uh, click on it and it will install itself it will just install very uh, instantly and very fast after the uh, farmer is installed it's time to uh, add pkgs so you can just select it from the file manager itself just like aps3 Related, the process is absolutely same and uh, let's quickly try to run a game so here I can see that I have already uh, installed uh, three to five four games and uh, let's quickly find out if uh, the new official rpcs3 android build can run uh, games or not guys and uh, yes guys I'm using as usual a mediatic device to test these games so uh, if I just go to settings and so the about device section you can see that I am using a mediatic Dimensity 1200 chipset device and it has a Mali G77 GPU so let's try with the first game which is Sonic uh, Hedgehog 4 so as you can see guys our game is loading let's just wait for the game to load completely Okay, so our game has loaded. The surprise thing is guys, there is no graphical issues because I have already tried this game with APS3 emulator. So I have already tried this game with APS3 emulator but there was graphical issues and uh, with almost all 3D games but with official RPC3 Android build there is no graphical glitches and it's running with uh, uh, full speed but unfortunately guys there is no on screen control available to control or play the games just like APS3 uh, maybe they have not added yet we have to wait for the uh, new updates but the best news is that the game is working and without any graphical issues so let me quickly show you uh, um, the same game with aps3 emulator and uh, let me show you the what are the issue that we face so as you can see guys in aps3 emulator there is graphical glitches and it's not just with this game with every game so we, we can see uh, we will see that there will be graphical glitches but the best thing is that with the latest uh, this newly released rpcs3 official build there is no graphical issues but obviously it has um, more bugs that need to be fixed so for example uh, if we run other games like uh, god of war uh, demo you will see that it will go into black screen so if i try once again and it will obviously crash but after trying several times the uh, game will boot for once and then it will go into a black screen one second but uh, these are these uh, glitches or these are the bugs that need to be fixed and obviously it will get fixed within uh, with new update but for now the best thing is that uh, the graphical issues with Mali devices is fixed and games like these small games are working so that was a quick uh, setup of this rpc 3 and review of this emulator so in next video we're going to test more games and we're going to find out if more, uh, any other games going to work and uh, that's it guys goodbye and have a nice day